I don't never compete cause we would never even I'm the one still the one I can give you 11 reasons Rock a cucaracha Made him out of golf Answer to the altar Then the plan gon' prosper Don't get lost in the hype sauce Little hoe in the club Look better with the lights off So in today's video we're gonna go over a very simple plug and play mod for me. Uh, something I always wanted was dynamic taillights. I already had the European spec um, taillights, the facelift taillights, which are a world of difference from the stock pre-facelift taillights. Those things are just disgusting and ugly. So getting the European ones with the amber turn signals was cool because no one has them around here. You don't really see them that much online. But I always wanted to make them dynamic, kind of update the look of the car. Um, all the new B9 Audis are coming with the dynamics, and it seemed like a good way to modernize the car a little bit. And I talked to several people about, you know, cutting them open and wiring in everything necessary to do that on our own. But turned out that around Black Friday there was a deal on a set of pre-modified European spec dynamic taillights and for the price I couldn't complain it was a brand new set of lights my original European lights had a small nick in it which is part of the reason I got them for so cheap uh, really not a big deal but to me I just wasn't too happy with knowing there was a, a small nick out of the lens so I got to get my dynamic tails I wanted, and I got to get rid of the chipped damaged lens that I originally had on there while still keeping the European amber turn signals. So there's not too much else to say about these besides they're plug and play for a pre-facelift with an adapter harness I already had. Uh, with the facelift ones, you have to do a little bit of coating so that the main center part of the light doesn't blink with the turn signal as well. Not a big deal, pretty easy for most people to do. And yeah, I'll give you a little walk around of how it looks now installed. Um, first video was with the protective covers on it. Just wanted to make sure it was okay before taking them off and make sure there's no issues with the lights. But overall, huge improvement. It matches the dynamic turn signal mirrors I have and I couldn't really be happier with them. So since I don't have anyone else here with me to uh, display the other functions of the taillights such as the brake lights and uh, stuff like that, I'm just going to go ahead and give you another little walk around now that the plastic covers are off. Uh, car is wet, it's outside, sorry, but I'll just give you a little demonstration. Uh, if it looks a little weak, it's because my battery is weak, but they do look great when it was actually running. And I'll just give you a nice little walk around, and that's pretty much all I have to say about the uh, dynamic taillights. I'm really happy with them, and I don't know of anyone else around this area that has them. Uh, most of the people I see them are overseas that have the dynamic taillights. So anyways, I'll show you what's uh, what they look like finally installed on a dirty car. So that concludes my dynamic taillights. Uh, like I said, I already had the adapter harness to go from the facelift to the, or the pre-facelift to the facelift taillights. No coating was required. For me, this was literally three bolts on each taillight and plug in and good to go. No programming, nothing. Plug, play, enjoy some dynamic tails. Thanks again for watching. I'll be coming out with more videos like this. Thanks. Takes one skip. You are fucking up, bro. Get it together, man. Get your shit together. Come on.